I'm delighted to be here today or more with uh, Michael Mara, who is the writer of this week's play, St. Catherine's Day. Michael, it's nice to have you here. Thank you. Thank you for the play. It's unusual. Normally, we do this as an interview just before the play opens, but we've got the luxury of doing it now that it has opened, <laughs> and it's gone really well. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm very pleased. Uh, uh, I was worried because it's my first play, but um, the guys have been great, the actors are wonderful. And our director, Jemima Levick, has been fabulous. She's made it work. Good. Um, well, I can vouch for that. Yeah, it, it certainly works. Um, what, what, where, where did the idea, the play itself, where does, what's the background to it? Well, from what I remember, um, it was originally written as a screenplay. And uh, then it was a short story. And um, then when I was asked by yourself to make something for here, I thought about a musical. And people have you know, often encouraged me to write a musical, but the big thing about a musical is a good story. The great ones have a great story. You know, Ro Romeo and Juliet for West Side Story, or Guys and Dogs, another one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, and that was not my area of expertise. <laughs> but one of my pals pointed out a short story, St. Catherine's Day, and said, that might work on stage. Uh -huh. So um, I gave it to Jemima, and she said that, that she reckoned she could make it work. Great. But you're, you're um, as a songwriter, and that's what you're best at in this, you, you always have, I think, a very strong narrative sense. A lot of your songs are telling it's not telling stories, it's going on journeys. Well, there is that. There always has to be something in them. Or uh, I don't see any point, really. But uh, dealing with a story within three or four minutes is very different from yeah. me, you know, a, a, a piece which lasts almost an hour on stage. Yeah. Yeah. Very different. It's a different skill. And uh, I intend to try to learn it. That's well, I hope you'll, you'll do more of your learning here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was very grateful for the chance to do it here. Right. I mean, you, you don't get many opportunities to try out. You have written a libretto for an opera. Yes. Uh, which was done at Dundee Red. It was. Tell us a little bit about that. It was an operetta called If the Moon Can Be Believed. And um, it told the story of a, a group of girls who played truant from school and then kept it up into adulthood. And, um, but I was given a great deal of help by Michael Duke, who mm -hmm. wrote the plot points for me. Right. I then had to write the libretto to reach each point. Right, right. That, that was an interesting process. Um, but without Michael's help, I, I, I don't know how far I would have got. <laughs> well, this theatre making is a collaborative. Of course, but, but that is a problem with me. I, I, generally, I write alone, mm -hmm. and that is, um, well, it's important to me. Of course. I, I try writing with other people. Um, once or twice it has worked. Mm -hmm. um, but generally, no, I, I like to write on my own. But you like to perform together, because you, you toured uh, your show in Flagrant Delict. With Liz Lockett. With Liz Lockett, yes. I just did that as an excuse to get our company on tour. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a very good show. And, um, that was uh, a combination of your songs and her po poetry and, and performance pieces. It was, I, I, and Like I say, I, I got our company for quite a few tours. Mm -hmm. And we went to Australia and America. And um, travelling with Liz is an education. Mm -hmm. Itself, yeah. so um, I've been very privileged in that respect, yeah. and, and I, I picked up as much as much education as I could, whilst enjoying myself. <laughs> <laughs> Some years ago, um, I produced a version of Robert Burns's Jolly Beggar song cycle, mm -hmm. and um, I wonder, as you are such a fine singer-songwriter, whether the idea of writing 
a dramatic song cycle might appeal to you. Certainly. Um, can I plant this seed in your mind for an hour or more? You certainly can. <laughs> I like every now and then to try and commission a work on video so that the wider public are waiting for it. Yeah, I promise to write as well as Robert Burns. <laughs> for you. <laughs> Michael, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for bringing us to Catherine today. Thank you for asking me.